Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm making for you stewed lentils. This is going to be super easy to put together and it's going to be so delicious. So let's jump straight into this recipe. We're going to start with our pot on a medium heat and to that I'm adding in my brown sugar. I love to stew my lentils and my peas but if you wanted to omit the sugar, you can. Once your sugar caramelizes, don't let it burn, just let it get really dark amber. Um, you're going to go in with your soaked lentils. You can use any other type of beans here if you wanted. Now, if you were omitting the sugar step, I would saute the aromatics. When it's nice and tender, then add in your peas. So we're going to go in with my aromatics. I have garlic, onion, tomatoes, celery, scallions, and carrots salt some tomato ketchup which i like to add if you want you can add tomato paste or you can omit this give that a mix and allow it to fry up in there i'm going to add in some ruku or annatto it's going to give it a really beautiful stew color i love using it in stews let that fry up in there for about a five minutes now at this point, we're going to go in with the chopped celery, which I forgot to add. And you can all you can also add some pimento peppers, guys. You'll notice later on in the video, I put in the pimento peppers because I forgot to put it in. Because this was a very quick cook and I decided to record it for you all. So as it starts to stick to the bottom of the pot, you'll know that it's ready for water. So I added in, so I went in with about three cups of water. You wanna make sure you cover your peas well. Now, you're going to allow this to come up to a simmer. Once it comes up to a simmer, here is where I'll drop in the pimento peppers that I forgot to put in earlier. And allow it to continue to boil until it starts to reduce and your grains start to soften. And you see how it reduced and how it looks? That sauce is a lot thicker. Once it's reduced and your greens are tender, you taste, adjust your salt, and then it's ready to be served. Quick and easy to put together, right? Now, I like serving this with mango kuchula and with some stewed chicken or even curry chicken. So I hope you guys enjoyed this quick recipe. Comment down below, let me know what you think, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.